everybody, this is Birch. And uh, I've talked about this before. Um, actually, I did a post about this. I don't know, like like pre-pandemic, I think. I, I don't know. It was at least a couple of years ago. And um, it got a bunch of attention. And then uh, one of the bigger name kind of Twitter people, um, Eric July, got uh, retweeted it and didn't get the tweet or like he didn't he didn't understand what I was saying. And so he kind of clapped back. Um, and I responded with a bit of a salty, like, Hey idiot, you don't understand what you're talking about. Um, and it was kind of obvious if you'd like sat and you looked at the tweet for a couple seconds. Um, and I remember all these people messaging me going, Oh man, he's got a big following. If you, uh, if you say anything negative, don't dare say anything negative about him. Cause he'll, you know, he's got a big following. And, um, it was, it was, to be honest, it was somewhat pathetic. Uh, the people who were kind of warning against, uh, like who you can't say he's got a, he's got a lot of people. You can't say anything about him. I, I don't know. It was just, uh, it was, it would, it felt very, uh, very cowardly, very <laughs> like be a man. Come on. Uh, but it was about Disney world. And in particular, it was about uh, a store in Disney Springs that is a Marvel store. You know, the Disney Springs is kind of their shopping mall area. It's got a bunch of stores. And uh, in Disney Springs, which used to be downtown Disney, um, there is a Marvel store there where they sell all things Marvel. And my tweet was basically like, they have no comics in the Marvel comic store. That was the, the tweet. Um, and, and uh, you, know, the, the, you know, they've got lots of things, but no comics. And, uh, and, and that's true in the park uh, as well. Um, you can go to uh, parts of um, Hollywood Studios, and there used to be a couple comics, uh, graphic novels in the stores there. If you go to the Disney stores, by the way, you will find graphic novels. So some people will say, uh, hey, there's, uh, you know, Disney's just uh, doesn't care about comics, doesn't care about graphic novels. So that's not true, because they definitely have the Mickey comics and the Princess comics there. It's just they don't bother with the Marvel comics. And the Marvel store used to have a small handful of comics there. And, uh, and now they just have none. Um, so here's a, a email from a viewer kind of noticing the same thing in this email, this, this viewer bought receipts. So if you're watching this, uh, on video, uh, we're going to, they, they, uh, sent, uh, see, sent a bunch of video and, and photos of this store. So that's pretty cool. So here goes the mail. We'll talk about this more. It says, um, because the big question is why not? Why don't they sell these things? Anyway, here, here's the mail. Uh, Hello, Perch. Thank you for your show. Here's something that really bothers me. I recently took a trip to Orlando to take my family to Walt Disney World and a couple of the other places around there. I was very excited to see the Marvel store, thinking I would be able to get some cool Marvel merch, but was severely disappointed when I went inside. The store was filled with, um, the store was filled with merchandise from the movies they were promoting a lot of Miss Marvel and Thor Love and Thunder, but there was no comics at all inside the store. I was also surprised at the heavy amount of Pride material in the store. Granted, it is Pride Month, but they had devoted several aisles to Pride material, um, LGBTQ plus I LGBTQI plus. Can, can people center on the letters we're supposed to use here? Like it, it, they, they add, they subtract. Sorry, this uh, I'm not beating you up, uh, letter writer. Anyway, um, the, the, the material in the store. Uh, there were rainbow versions of Marvel characters, T-shirts, slogans. They even seem to be turning the Infinity Stones into some kind of analogy for pride, which I suppose makes sense because at times. Pride feels like Thanos has come in and trying to snap us all into gay. Into gay. Okay. All right. Uh, fair enough. Um, what is very strange is that later, when I went to the Universal Studios theme park, they have a Marvel store there as well. And they had tons of comics and classic Marvel merch. The Marvel vintage material was selling like crazy, and the comics seem to be selling as well. Why doesn't Disney, who owns Marvel, do the same thing? When I asked the man at the counter at the Marvel store at Disney why there weren't any comic books, he just sort of shrugged and said, I don't think they make them anymore, which was a baffling answer 
I like people who use baffling. I like the word baffling. Baffling answer in a store owned by Disney. They also had comic books at the airport in the regular Hudson Books and Airport stores, as well as the Universal stores, but again, nothing for Disney. The Disney section had a small Marvel area, much of it filled with pride. What is the reasoning behind this? I sent along some videos. You can get them as this. Okay. They, thank you very much uh, for including all the videos and the photos that are now rolling on the screen that you can see. Uh, very, very helpful. Um, uh, those are the receipts. Yes. So I don't, the answer, unfortunately, the more you pick at this, the answers make less and less sense. So if, uh, and, and granted, it may be different. I haven't been to the Disney theme parks in a little while now um, since pre-pandemic. Uh, but what was always striking to me were that there was plenty of people wearing kind of Marvel gear, but it was rarely the Marvel stuff they were selling in the store. Um, they, 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 I, I mean, they, I'm sort of shocked uh, by, the, well, maybe not shocked, by the photos and you're right, there is a massive amount of pride, pride material in that store. Um, assuming, well, you know, you sent this mail in, in uh, June. So, it is, like you said, it is Pride Month. But I, I never see that stuff anywhere. Now, maybe if I went to Disney World now, I'd see uh, Pride uh, shirts and, and merch everywhere. But I, I just, I never see Marvel Pride stuff. And... Um, you know, the, the people I know, the friends I have who are uh, gay or, you know, who, who occasionally will wear pride things, they would not be caught dead in a Marvel uh, pride. It just that that would not work for them. Uh, but what I do see is tons of classic Marvel gear. I'll see a Captain America symbol. I'll see a Spider-Man. I'll see a lot of retro stuff like the old uh, Bashima kind of art on T-shirts. I'll see the Punisher logo, of course, lots of that. Um, I, I mean, that's the kind of stuff you see out in the wild. And you are right. I do remember that Universal Studios uh, would have a lot of that. And, that, and part of that's because of a lawsuit, or, or not the lawsuit, the, uh, the agreement that was made, the licensing agreement, where they can't sell a lot of the newer stuff. And so they're, that's really the era they're locked into. In many ways, Universal Studios is kind of locked into the 70s, 80s, and 90s. It's a, it's a paradise <laughs> in some ways uh, for comics. And... That stuff seems to sell, and it makes sense. The classic retro stuff would sell. Uh, but why, why, why wouldn't Disney do this? So, you know, when I bring this up, and that's kind of the, the tweet in, in, in Twitter, uh, people say, well, you know, Marvel doesn't care about, uh, you know, the, they, they care about the movies. Disney just cares about the movies. They don't care about the comics. Okay, but they do like money. And, you know, you can't help but notice that the, you know, universal area is selling through that stuff at a dramatic pace. And meanwhile, uh, a lot of the newer kind of Marvel stuff, I mean, from the photos that you sent here, I, I mean, now granted, Disney keeps this, the shelves stocked to the gills all the time. But I, I don't know. You see lots of people browsing, I, I mean, this is, unfortunately, this is a window in time, it's all like 30 seconds that we're seeing here, so I don't know what, the, if this is really indicative of what's going on or not, but, all, you know, you don't see people wandering around in this gear, and when you go to a Target or a Walmart, the newer stuff doesn't sell, I mean, I, I do. is it controversial to say that the Eternals t-shirts and toys and all that kind of stuff was not a big seller? Do, do people disagree with that? I, I, I don't think that's a disagree. I, I, I think, I think it's impossible to disagree with that, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe somebody wants to give that a shot. Um, these things aren't selling. You just don't see them out there. This merch isn't going, but Marvel interest is high. You do see the other stuff. And so I, the, the idea that Disney's like, well, we, we, uh, we know that this stuff isn't selling very well, but, uh, we, we don't like money. That, that doesn't make any sense. Disney owns the whole thing. They own Marvel, meaning they own the work from the 70s, 80s, and 90s, uh, current. Do we think that Disney is deliberately losing money because they are trying to, to do the current Marvel staff a favor? Is that the, is that the answer? 
like I, I'm, I'm really trying to unparse this because people always will go on with, well, Disney just doesn't care about the comics. They just care about the movies. But the movie stuff doesn't sell. This other stuff does sell. They see the licensing checks in both cases. Why would they do this to themselves? I, I don't get it. And then in terms of the comics, like I mentioned earlier, Disney absolutely sells graphic novels and comics. They absolutely do. You're telling me that they, they just don't, they don't with Marvel? Just Marvel is the exception. The comics company they bought, they don't care about the comics. I, I mean, the, the answer, I think, is more straightforward. The answer is this stuff doesn't, doesn't sell. You're right. The stuff doesn't sell in the park. But I, I think that other material would. And I also, quite frankly, whether it sells a huge amount or not, I think if you are Marvel Comics and you have the word comics in your name, you ought to sell some comics. I'm, I'm just, just, I think, to be good and proper, I think you ought to. Um, I don't think this is, uh, anyway, it drives me crazy. So I, I don't know. You tell me uh, what the answer is here, because I, I think it's stupidity. I think it's embarrassing. I think that uh, no matter no matter what argument you might have, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, unless that argument is um, the current monthly comics that Marvel has to sell doesn't you know don't move. I think that argument works. But then again, why don't you, you, you're telling me a graphic novel for uh, the Infinity Gauntlet would not sell? You know, uh, even Marvel Masterworks of kind of the origin of Spider-Man wouldn't sell? I mean, you're telling me nothing in the entire catalog of Marvel would sell? Because it seems to be selling up the street. I, 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 you know, I just find it all very, very strange. So, you know, thank you very much for sending in the video and the photos. Maybe somebody has the amazing explanation behind this. I, I don't know. By the way, whenever somebody comes in to argue, like, I think this is weird that the Marvel store at Disney doesn't sell Marvel comics, you know, but Universal does. And apparently the airport does. Um, and here are the receipts. That was another thing that went on back uh, in the day when I posted this. People were like, well, I, you know, you prove it. This is, by the way, whenever somebody says, I, I need you to prove that for me, um, my answer is generally, go screw yourself. Go, you know, you, you can believe me, you could not believe me. I don't care. But I'm not your Google. Go go search yourself. If you think what I'm saying is outlandishly crazy, that there's people every now and then that come harping into uh, to Twitter, and they're, they're like, oh, you're going to need to prove this to me. I'm like, ah, no, screw off. You know, <laughs> welcome to... You know, welcome to mute, or if you're really obnoxious, welcome to block. I I'm, I'm, I don't have time for you. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and and want to argue about you know be your fact check. You know, go go do it yourself. But I mean, the the, the proof is there. You can also just uh, pick up the phone and call somebody and ask if they have comics. I I, I think that's weird. And any time people come in to argue it, the excuses or the argument always are just bizarre. Like, well, people don't want to carry around comics in, uh, you know, the hot sun in, uh, in the theme park. Like, uh, I mean, okay, they're, you're, they sell jewelry and perfume and dresses and, and neckties and, I mean, all kinds of crap. But, uh, but sure, you know, piles and piles of journals, but, uh, you know, paper products in, uh, you know, the Orlando sun is just too, too much. I, I, Anyway, it doesn't make any sense, and I think it's, uh, quite frankly, embarrassing uh, for Disney not to sell it. But anyway, thank you very much for the mail. Thank you very much for the photos and videos. I don't know. You have an answer to this? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, like and subscribe, of course, and thanks for listening.